We're here at Royal Oak Portal um, at the west end of the Crossrail route where the, the tunnel enters central London. And we're here today because um, we've got a meeting with the Natural History Museum to look at some of the finds that have come up during Oxford Archaeology's watching brief on the excavation works here. And some of these finds are exceptionally well preserved animal remains, clearly kind of preserved in an old riverbed. What we've done um, up till now is investigated the section throughout the portal. Now in this location when we're discovering uh, animal bones in quite some quantities, we've got a, a smaller area marked out where we're doing very careful sample excavation, taking one meter square areas, taking samples for processing back in the lab for even smaller remains, shell fragments, the remains of very small mammals can, can help us date these deposits very accurately. We've called in the Natural History Museum experts uh, to come down and be with us today to inspect the detail of the finds, help us identify what species are present. And we've got Simon Parfit here with us today who's going to explain a little bit more about the significance of this type of site. Um, I'm Simon Parfit from the Natural History Museum and University College London and I'm a vertebrate paleontologist so I, I study animal bones. Uh, a few days ago I got a phone call and um, basically saying that um, animal bones had been found in these, these deposits. Um, so this is really exciting because this is an area that we know very little about. Uh, we know that the Thames flow through this area um, but there are no records of animal bones or, or um, human activity from, from this, this precise spot. So this is a, a very interesting, very exciting discovery. This we think is a, a limb bone, possibly from the forelimb, and some of these marks, which you can barely see, these very fine traces, are intriguing. They might well be natural, but there's a possibility that they could be a, a, an indication, a, a trace of very early human activity. So some of these animal fossils quite often show cut marks or other forms of evidence that you know, man was here in the Pleistocene, the Paleolithic period. And this is a very rare find for a project like Crossrail. It's one of the few sites we expect this type of find. We've got a crucial uh, requirement here to finish this work quickly and efficiently. This is the launching uh, area for the first TBM on Crossrail, which is due in a few months' time. So we're working uh, flat out with Oxford Archaeology and our specialists who are helping us to ensure we get this work complete well on time and within the programme that we've uh, arranged with the project manager here.